Assalamu alaikum dear brothers and sisters and welcome to Quran Weekly where I share with you a verse of the Holy Quran that I find enlightening and deeply profound. The verse that I'd like to share with you this week is verse 30 from Surah Al-Furqan where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala quotes the Prophet when he says, وَقَالَ الرَّسُولُ يَا رَبِّ إِنَّ قَوْمِ اتَّخَذُوا هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ مَهْجُورًا And the Messenger said, O oh my Lord, my people took the Qur'an as something to be abandoned. Now when you look at this verse, my dear brothers and sisters, some commentators of the Holy Qur'an are of the opinion that the Holy Prophet is putting forth a complaint about the Meccans. As you know, brothers and sisters, when the Holy Prophet began propagating the religion of Islam and reciting the verses of the Qur'an to the Meccans, their reaction was that this is sorcery. The Holy Qur'an on one occasion says, وَقَالُوا إِنَّ هَذَا لَسِحْرٌ مُّبِينٌ That this Qur'an, what you're reciting, is nothing more than sorcery and magic. On other occasions, they would accuse the Holy Prophet of fabricating the sacred scripture. However, other commentators say that this conversation refers to a grievance that will be put forward by the Holy Prophet on the Day of Judgment. Now the verse begins with a past tense verb, waqala. And typically in the Arabic language, when a past tense verb is used, it refers to an action or an event that took place in the past. However, what's unique about the Arabic language is that sometimes past tense verbs are employed to refer to the inevitability of a future event. And the idea is that what will come is so certain, it's as though it has already happened. So scholars say that on the Day of Judgment, the Holy Prophet will stand before his Lord and put forward the following grievance. Ya Rabbi inna qawm ittakhadu hadha al-Qur'ana mahjura. The Holy Prophet has a complaint. Who is he complaining about? He's complaining about his qawm, his people. Now we can reasonably infer that the Holy Prophet is referring to us, the Muslims. So he's complaining about us. What is he complaining about? <laughs> that my people, the Muslims, the Ummah, took this Qur'an as something to be abandoned. Now if you think about it, brothers and sisters, the Muslims have committed many atrocities throughout history, many crimes. We've committed many sins. But it seems as though the Holy Prophet is summarizing the source of all of our misery with this grievance. And that is all of our suffering, all of our iniquities can be traced back to the sin of abandoning the Holy Qur'an. Now, when it comes to abandoning the Holy Qur'an, the Qur'an can be neglected on two levels. The first is the literal abandonment of the Holy Qur'an, where you have the Holy Qur'an on your shelf where it collects dust, where you only pull it out when someone passes away in your community, or you only open it for the sake of deriving blessings when there is a nikah being held. There is a hadith from Imam al-Sadiq salawatullahi alayhi where he says, ثَلَاثَةٌ يَشْكُونَ إِلَى اللَّهِ There are three things that will complain to God. The first is, مَسْجِدٌ خَرَابٌ لَا يُصَلِّ فِيهِ أَهْلُ The first is, an abandoned mosque in which people don't pray. The second is وَعَالِمٌ بَيْنَ جُهَال The second is a scholar who lives among the ignorant. They don't seek his knowledge, they don't inquire, they don't seek enlightenment through his teachings. And finally the Imam says the third thing that will complain to Allah وَمُصْحَفٌ مُعَلَّقٌ قَدْ وَقَعَ عَلَيْهِ الْغُبَارِ لَا يُقْرَأُ فِيهِ And the third thing that will complain to Allah is a copy of the Holy Qur'an that is neglected upon which dust has collected. So the first type of abandonment is to literally abandon the Qur'an, to put it aside, to not open it, to not seek inspiration from it. The second type of Qur'anic neglect is to ignore the teachings of the Holy Qur'an. Now you may recite the Holy Qur'an and still be included among those who abandon the Holy Qur'an. There's a hadith where the Holy Prophet, when, when he speaks about the end of times, the Prophet describes 
the connection that people will have to the Qur'an at the end of times. He says, يَقْرَؤُونَ الْقُرْآنَ لَا يَتَجَاوَزْ حَنَاجِرَهُمْ The Holy Prophet says that at the end of times, at the end of times, people will recite the Holy Qur'an, but it will not pass their throats. Meaning they will recite it, but they will not practice the principles and the values outlined in the Holy Qur'an. My dear brothers and sisters, reciting the Holy Qur'an is like reading a prescription. And the soul can only be cured when we take the medicine. Thank you so much, my dear brothers and sisters, for giving me a few minutes of your time. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.